Hey everyone, welcome back to Mortal Kombat X. Yeah, this is the Mortal Kombat X episode that I was supposed to record on Monday, I think. That's when I wanted to play. No, it was it was no, it was Monday that I wanted to play this game, but there was some issues with the server. I couldn't find a single opponent and that kind of ruined my plans for an episode even though back then I was like super pumped up to play this game. I say back then like that was like three years ago. Anyways, it's now three days later, two days later. <coughs> I'm coughing, even though I'm not sick. Don't worry, don't worry. No one's gotten COVID through a YouTube video yet. Uh, and I'm going to fucking play some MKX because I'm like really pumped up on this game. I'm really pumped up on playing Kotal. Like, I forgot how badass Kotal is in this game. I talked about it in yesterday's uh, Dark Souls episode. Man, Kotal is... They really did Kotal dirty. Uh, okay. Man, a lot of people play like this. I wonder when I'm going to get to the kind of higher ranks when there will be people who actually like, well... I'm like super dissing this guy, but I mean, just look at the way he's playing, uh, where there will be people who actually know how to play. Sorry, Crack Hey Zero. Uh, I don't mean to diss you, but you know, that's some. Um, that's not how you play this game. Anyways, now that I've like alienated quite a few people watching this, don't worry. It's all in good fun. Uh, yeah. This character is so cool. I'm talking about Kotal. Uh, I'm really kind of sad that he just doesn't feel this way in uh, 11. He is cool as there, there as well. Uh, I don't have a problem with his characterization. Uh, there are people who, you know, get pissed about the story uh, of MK11 and how they kind of change character. I feel like Kotal is not that changed, but gameplay-wise... It's like they tried to combine all his variations, but they just like mixed them around. Like, you know, the Panther variation has parts of War God. The I main, what is it called? Ascension has the command grab. There's the totem one, which like doesn't have, it has like shitty special moves. It's a mess. MK11 sometimes in general is kind of a mess. Whereas this game, as much as you know, as I said in the previous episode, this game is not perfect. It truly is special. 32 million wins with the Predator. Oh, I should play the Predator. I shouldn't play the Predator. I don't know how to play the Predator. I wonder how accurate those stats are running at the bottom. Uh, the 20 million miles of super meter. I guess you can set up like some calculation for that. Anyways. Let's talk about more how this game is not MK11. Uh, <laughs> these poor people, I really feel sorry for them. Uh, I was in the reverse of that situation, that situation, this situation, can't even speak English. Uh, I was in the reverse of this situation where I played like a few days ago in the morning and like three times I ran into this dude, I even screenshotted it who had 19,000 wins and like 9,000 losses. I mean, I was like, fuck. I like this game, I'm dedicated to this game, but holy shit, that is dedication. Do I have played like a combined total of like, I don't know, like 27,000 matches. It's kind of insane. And see, the biggest issue I see, that's my phone. Sorry, phone, you ain't gonna get picked up. But you're gonna get to hear Gil's theme uh, from SF5, which is my ringtone. Okay. You gotta shut the fuck up. Uh, it's... Okay, th this was a mess. Alright, Kung Lao. Back to the ass whooping. Okay, that jump kick. We're not in. We are not in 
MK11 where jump kicks are the way to go. In fact, jump kicks are kinda honestly not trash, but yeah, jump kicks were definitely the less used option in this game. Uh, jump punches though, that's the... That is the shit. See, he just keeps, he just stops blocking for some reason. But it's all good. Bruh, this is not... This is not MK11. <laughs> Holy shit. He... This guy thinks he's playing MK11. There's a brutality attached to that. How do you do the brutality? Uh, oh, it's unlocked. Fuck. Because I haven't done the crypt. Shit. Well, you can unlock brutalities by doing them, can't you? I don't even know. Man, this phone call really threw me off. Um, I had like this whole spiel going about something. And I completely lost my train of thought. Anyways, bruh. Yeah, that's the thing. Uh, people just don't block. This has always been a thing in this game that people just don't block. Even uh, higher on up the ranks. Technically, there is no ranks in this game, but whatever. Although, when I think about it, people don't block in MK11 either. People don't block in any fighting game, technically. Okay, we might have someone here. We might have someone. We might actually have a match. War God Kotal. As I always said many a times, if we got something to settle, see my War God Kotal on MK. That's how we settle things, like man. Hook up that router or tune that Wi Fi. Hop on MKX. War God Kotal. That's how we settle things on the Mr. Sketchhead channel. Anyways, Jason Warhees. Uh, I think I know how to fight Jason. Jason. Okay. Okay, he knows how to block. He doesn't know how to punish though. Okay. It's an interesting place to throw. And I just try to do... Holy shit! Houston, we have a problem. Damn it! I finally found it. <laughs> the one time I find a guy who actually knows what he's doing and it disconnects. Damn! I got hit with the in game plug pull. You know how people pull their plugs sometimes manually? This was the in game plug pull. Oh, I didn't even. Man, sometimes I wish I was streaming all the time when I was gaming. When I am gaming, I fought this dude. It was the funniest shit on MK11, of, like yesterday. Uh, I played Kotal there as well, just normally, just standard Ascension Kotal. And this fool was playing Scorpion. And this fool had no clue what he was doing. You know, the classic jump back, teleport, throw spear. And I beat him. Uh, you know, no cap, no ego. I destroyed him and towards the end he just stopped. He got on his mic and was just yelling spammer, spammer, spammer uh, on the mic. It is the funniest shit. Uh, and it just reminded me that these games are toxic as fuck, but they are the funny kind of toxic. People get really pissed about that. You know, if I was LTG, I would be like Probably rage quitting or something. That was flawless. Can we get a double flawless? That's the question. Are you kidding me? What is going... Was that him though? Listen. We just got hit with the double disconnect. Now... This is a little bit sus. Um, is somebody messing with my internet? Probably not. That was weird. If this third one disconnects as well, then I'm gonna like... I'm gonna go Inspector Gadget mode. Fucking Inspector. Do you, do you guys remember the Inspector Gadget movie? I saw that when I was a kid and I don't remember if that was a piece of shit or not. It probably was a piece of shit because it's not like... 
it's not like mentioned as a classic or something. What was I say? Oh yeah, the dude. And yeah, that's what he was doing. He he had like a really thick some type of accent, which I know. Look who's talking about people's accents, me. Uh, and he just kept shouting spammer and then he disconnected in the end and I was like bruh this is why you're never gonna improve at this game it's like a perfect lesson of you know someone who is like so convinced that every loss he takes is outside of his oh that's an overhead yeah is outside of his control and it's always because somebody's spamming or using a cheap character or it's laggy you know he's like so completely convinced that it's never his fault that he loses that he has zero chance of ever improving and he's just gonna keep disconnecting and he's just gonna shout spammer into the mic and you know one day he's just gonna get pissed and quit the game and it's kind of sad you know it's kind of sad. But that's just how people are. It's like, what can you do? I thought he quit. Set up. It's not a true setup, but it's a thing. And this dude does not how to know does not know how to play Ferator. It's unfortunate because I do play Ferator. I used to play Ferator, but I probably couldn't do it now. But that ain't it, Chief. That's not how you play Ferator. Man, I'm 12 minutes in and I've gotten like quite a few games in, but like two of those have been disconnected, so it doesn't even matter. But what this did confirm is. Those two back-to-back -back disconnects were a fluke. Who the fuck is... Listen, I've started this video, as I said, like 12 minutes ago, and somebody is like parked outside my neighbor, just running their engine, and I'm like, bruh, think about the environment. You don't have to like make up for all the pollution. Yeah, no thanks. Uh, all the pollution we lost during COVID by just running your engine anyways oh it's him again should is that would that be too mean uh if i played that that would be too mean yeah i'm not gonna do that we'll play sun god this time because this character or i mean this variation is also sick as shit That would have been, nah, that would have been too mean if I played Ferator. I don't even remember how to play Ferator. Man, I'm like really hyper. I'm talking like a, like 100 miles per hour. It's because I get hyped on this game. Oh, shit. Okay, he's not going to block. That's, that's the only issue with... It's the only issue with playing people uh, with Song God. Oh, that's so sick. Oh, on your knees. This character is the tightest. Oh, I parried. That was the accident. <laughs> that was an input error. Hit him with the input error command grab. That's quite a play style, isn't it? On your knee, he. This is the sickest character. Shit! I was gonna command grab. He beat me. This, this is a very interesting playstyle. That's all I can say. I should go for the raw command grabs because he's clearly again. He's clearly not blocking. I think I'm gonna win those. Yeah, I think I'm gonna win those trades. The Sun Disc. Oh yeah, that's also... This has been so nerfed. In MK. 
Shit. Eleven. Shit! Input error. No, I can't let him beat me. That would be really embarrassing. Almost as embarrassing as losing to Moonlight Butterfly in MK. Not MK. <laughs> in MK. In Dark Souls. He's legit beating me. It's all good. Stay cool. Stay cool. And you know this dude would fucking fatality me. I can tell. He would hit me with the fatal. It's all good. He's gonna x-ray. 100% he's gonna x-ray. Yup. Oh shit. Yeah. I kinda read that, didn't I? That x-ray it's like the crushing blow in mk11 like they're gonna do it but yeah song god is sick it's not good to play him against someone who just doesn't block because grapplers especially in this game with with it's kind of weird tick throw mechanic uh really kind of relies on people blocking Anyways, we got quite a few more games in us. If I'm pumping them out at this pace, uh, we can like do quite a few more. Hit him with the codal. This dude, I'm very suspicious of him. Uh, the two bar connection. In this game, a two bar connection is just not, not, not a good idea. Uh, don't go for the two bar in this game. Even though, you know. Well, no, this game's netcode was terrible at the start. Because I was going to say, like, this feels decent. Uh, I've noticed some, not even lag, but there is input delay. I was playing against a reptile. The dude who beat me like three times in a row with 19,000 wins. Uh, he was using Reptile, and that's like a classic, you know, mix-up heavy character, and it could be that I'm just bad that he was beating me, but I also found it hard to, like, uh, react to what he was doing. Takeda. People want this character back for 11. Uh, honestly, I'm not a fan of Takeda. It feels whiny, you know. Feels like a bitch, Takeda. Uh, Kung Jin is Kung Jin is just boring. But people don't want Kung Jin back. Yeah. Poor Kung Jin. I mean the idea is good. But I think it's his look, you know. Although his uh his other costume I don't even know what that string was. Oh yeah. NJP. Takeda MJP. Hit him with the NJP. Double MJ. <laughs> Why am I saying MJP? It's a Michael Jackson. Okay. I think I got this guy figured out. Run up grab and NJP. But Takeda also has shitty wake ups. Yeah, told you. Run up grab and JP. That's the strat with this guy. Apparently it's working. I'm getting hit like a motherfucker by it. 
Oh shit. Punish. Could have punished way harder. Yup. Punish like this. That's more like it. Fuck. Am I not... Wait, how do you... How do you tech in this game? <laughs> Isn't it the same as 11? I thought teching was the same. Fuck. Oh, that's... Damn, he beat me. That feels really weird. Being not being beaten. That feels really bad. I feel like I shouldn't have lost to this guy. Uh, I was trying to get him on that he couldn't jump on wake up. But I kept mistiming it. That was my issue. That's some classic Takeda shit. The instant NJP. That's one thing I do not miss from this game. The neutral jump punch system. Like that shit. That shit needed to go. You know, like those, even like Ferratore, you know, Kunjin. Yeah. NJP system was not. But everything else, the running mechanic. Oh, the other thing. And I didn't mention this in the previous episode, which I wanted to talk about, was the the only thing that kind of sucked in this game, and I'm glad they changed it for the other games, even though they removed the run, is that backdashes in this game cost one stamina meter. I think, you know, one of the ways they could really, like, tone down the over-aggressiveness of this game, which people kind of always complain about, is if they allow you to just, uh, if they just allow you to uh, backdash, you know. I think that would have like, that would have like gone or helped along way in, you know, fixing uh, probably the biggest complaint of everyone for this game is that just it's just rush down, rush down, rush down. I think one of the reasons is that it just doesn't allow you to uh, use that defensive option of a backdash. How does that not punish that? This guy likes his uppercuts. He's playing... This, this is definitely a Jade player in 11. Oh, I'm gonna hit him with the no. <laughs> I was gonna hit him with the uh, with this. I was like, I'm gonna hit him with the unblockable. Didn't exactly work out. So yeah, I think if they ever for MK12 or whatever it's gonna be, bring back this run mechanic, which I hope they do. You gotta still allow people to backdash because that's like. I think that's like the perfect balance. Of still allowing you to get out of situations by using your mobility. Because, you know, you saw, like, playing someone like Jackie, who has a godlike walk speed, just makes the game so much more fun. Alright, who is he gonna pick? He has a decent win loss, so I'm hoping. Everybody plays Liu Kang in this game. Probably because of Ninja Killer. And Liu Kang is probably the best character in the game. I think that's kind of the general consensus. That burp tasted like instant ramen. Because I had instant ramen for dinner. Um, Force Way. Anybody home? Thank you. Man, that ramen was tasty. All right. Let's see what we can pull out of our ass this time around. Uh, I'm gonna hit him. I'm gonna hit him. 
with this. Okay. It's not what I expected. Keep ourselves safe. Hit him with the unblock. Okay, into the corner we go. Why am I letting go of block like an idiot? Ouch. Cool. I think we have a match. Uh oh. He's gonna put me full screen. Oh! That does so much damage. <laughs> I cannot believe that killed. I, I legit cannot believe that kid. He's gonna jump out. Yep. Keep it safe. Go for the low. That low is safe, isn't it? I think so. Yeah. Now we're playing this game. Cool. GG's. I think I've fully warmed up now. See my war got Kotal, like I said. It's my dog, by the way. Okay, I think we can squeeze out one more match in this episode. I kind of don't want to stop playing. I'm having a lot of fun now. Uh, this game is so much fun. How did they nail this so right? Like, sure. Again, this game, to be fair, you know, without without blowing this game too much. Oh, it's the same dude. Without blowing this game's dicky, little dicky, too much. Uh, this game was a mess when it came out. Uh, way more of a mess. Uh, there were so many broken characters and, like, broken mechanics. The netcode was terrible and all that. So, it wasn't always like this, to be fair. But where this game ended up is godlike uh honestly that 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 fucking intro for Kotal this is why I play this character he just like does the back wave the backhand wave for sure 100% the best new character they added yep hit him with that is he not there I think he's not there um Okay, he's there. Okay. I was worried for a second. I was like, did this guy like stroke out or something? Uh oh. Cool. Your sacrifice honors me. Cool. That move is nearly, like, it's not nearly as annoying as it is in 11. I mean, the spear. Okay, that does a lot of damage. Cool, GG's. Alright, and we're under 30, sub 30 minutes. Um, this was a good sesh. Good smoke sesh with Kolo Khan, you know. Um, and what else can I say? This game is still hype. Always been hype. Uh, and as long as people are active in, on it, you know, I'll pop back in every once in a while. So yeah, we'll wrap it up here. If you guys enjoyed this episode of MKX, like, comment, subscribe, do all the usual. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you next... <laughs> I tried to like combine two outros. Uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. Peace out.